The Kitt Peak National Observatory Visitor Center is a nonprofit through its parent organization, Aura, the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy. The National Observatory is located southwest of Tucson on land of the Tohono O'odham Nation. Hi, this is Brian Penault from the Kitt Peak National Observatory Visitor Center. And I'm here to answer a question that I've often received in my years doing astronomy education and outreach. Whether you've toured an observatory yourself, or have seen images of large white domes dotting mountaintops, this one question probably crossed your mind at some time. And that question is, why? Why do astronomers need to build such large telescopes? The intuitive answer is to magnify what they're looking at, and most people just leave it at that. Now this makes sense because when you look into a telescope, you see a zoomed in portion of the night sky. But this is only one part of the picture, pardon the pun. To fully answer this question, there are three general reasons. Now we just said the first was to magnify what they're looking at. The other two reasons are to gather more light and to see finer details. Let's think about what the telescope is and what it does. A telescope is a tool, and like all tools, it is made to overcome or enhance our human capabilities, in this case our sight. The human eye is a fascinating piece of biology, but it has some serious limitations as it relates to astronomy. Namely, our pupils are very small only six millimeters wide when dark adapted. They're only sensitive to visible light, and they're not equipped to store what they see. At best, the unaided eye can only see the brightest and closest objects. Because Kit Peak is in the desert, I like to use the water analogy. Water is a precious resource when you're out in the desert, and if I wanted to gather a lot of rainwater, I would gather much more by using a bucket than I would a cup. I could also gather more water if I kept the bucket out for a long period of time. This would be equivalent to taking a long camera exposure. In this analogy, the telescope is the bucket, using its large surface area to collect more light, light that would otherwise fall around us if we were using only our eyes. Telescopes then focus that light down into a perceivable image for our eyes and cameras. To keep up with the analogy, it's like taking the water we gathered in our bucket and pouring it into our cup. Even with an inexpensive 8-inch telescope, that's an increase of over 270 times the light gathering area over our eyes. Bottoms up. To answer the next part, seeing finer details, let's use an example of two lit candles side by side. Up close, you can see the flames brightly flicker, melting wax, and a burning wick. If you would move the candles some distance away, they not only appear more faint, but also closer together. Even further away, the candles would look like a single, dim point of light. Further still, the candles would be too faint to see with our eyes anymore. As the candle's light is spread over such a wide area, very little of it enters our eyes. To gather enough light to see these extremely distant candles, you would need bigger eyes. But even with a large telescope, you might only be able to tell that there's a source of light, not that it's coming from two candles. To find these details, astronomers build not one, but many telescopes into an array, such as the very large array in New Mexico. Using specialized equipment, powerful computers, and a bit of math, these arrays act as a single telescope many miles across. Kitt Peak is home to one such radio telescope that forms the Very Long Baseline Array, a nationwide array of 10 radio telescopes that spans over 5,000 miles across. This allows seeing details so fine, it's comparable to standing in New York City and being able to read a newspaper in Los Angeles. Kitt Peak National Observatory is home to the most diverse collection of astronomical observatories on Earth including nearly two dozen optical, infrared, solar, and radio telescopes. To plan a visit, learn more about our programs, make a donation, or check out our blog, find us online at visitkitpeak.org. The Kitt Peak Visitor Center brings the science of astronomy to the public through exhibits, daytime tours, and nighttime observing programs. This mission is funded solely by your patronage and generous donations, and we thank you for your continued support. See us online at visitkitpeak.org. Thank you.